Alrighty, we'd like to welcome everybody back to practicallyandroid.com where we go through practical and beneficial ways to use your Android in everyday life. And uh, it feels good to be recording these again, I gotta tell ya. Um, so today what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how to do a factory reset on your Android. And there's a couple of reasons you might need to do this. Uh, but first of all, let's explain what that is. Uh, doing a factory reset basically sets up your phone to where it's brand new. Uh, at least as far as the, the software is concerned, it'll it'll bring your phone to the settings um, that you had when you first got your phone, when it was brand new. Um, and there's a couple of reasons you might want to do this. One of them being, if your phone's really slow, if it's um, just acting up a lot. Uh, I used to work for a cell, cell phone provider, and we had a service center in there. And whenever there was a... Uh, a problem that someone would bring in their phone about 80% of the time this is what we did a factory reset on their phone and that probably fixed about 90% of the problems um, the other thing that we the uh, another reason that you might want to uh, do a factory set reset on your phone is if you're selling your phone and I've done that before um, you don't want you know the person receiving your phone to have all your information uh, or if you're gifting it or whatever it's the same concept um, and there, there could be other reasons. Now, the <clears throat> the one thing that I'll need to I'll, I'll mention is if you're gonna fact do a factory reset on your phone because it's got a problem or you and you plan to keep it afterwards for whatever reason, um, do remember to do a uh, to back up your contacts either through Google or on your SD card. And and if you don't know how to do that, let me know and I, I might just do a um, a post about that. But just it's important to know. <laughs> Do not do a factory reset um, without backing up your contacts or oops, or you will lose them. So um, <clears throat> that's just my little disclaimer there. Don't don't like send me angry emails saying that you lost all your contacts. Um, all right, so let me show you how it's done. It's actually really really easy, and I'm I'm recording this with my um, with my new phone, um, the Galaxy Nexus, which I'm all excited about um, because. This phone, my my Nexus S, is going to be my my phone to record tutorials. Um, I've, I've come across a couple of situations where I'm recording things and there's like sensitive information about friends or family exposed, and um, it's it can just be kind of difficult. So I'm just going to set up a bunch of test accounts and just do everything on here. So I want to well, let me just get go ahead and get started. Basically, to to get started, we're going to go into our menu, go hit menu, and then settings. And what we're looking for is something that says factory or reset to factory settings, something along that lines. It used to be in, um, oops, it used to be in security. An ice cream sandwich is actually under personal backup and reset. Um, and in some HTC phones, it's actually under SD card. Um, but basically what, what we're looking for is factory data reset right here, okay? So basically you tap on that and it tells you this erases everything. Um, and then it asks you if you want to delete the USB storage. And on yours it might say external storage, which is referring to the SD card. Um, and this, you want to click this if you... Um, you have no need for all the files that are on, on your SD card, like your apps, like your... Um, like pictures, videos, songs, whatever it may be. Um, let's say you're selling your phone, you'll probably want to click this. If you're just doing this to fix problems with your phone, do not click this so that after it comes back, um, you will still have that. So since I am just going to delete everything, I'm just going to hit it and then hit reset phone. After that, it's going to ask you one more time, are you sure you want to do this? And I'm going to tell it, yes, I do. And then it just goes through and it starts deleting everything. And that is how that it's works. Take it back to factory settings. Okay, then it just starts booting up again. And when it comes back, it'll ask you to. Um, to sign in just like the first time and it's important that you use the same um, the same username and password uh, the username meaning your gmail account 
so that you can get access to all the paid apps if you had them. And I mean, maybe if the, when I used to work at that, at that cell phone provider, a lot of people would just make up these, you know, they purchased their new Android phone and they got, they had it just create a new Gmail account on the spot. And it was one that they never really used. Um, and half the time they couldn't remember the password. So if you don't have a lot of, if you don't have any purchased apps, you could take this opportunity to do a new, um, a new Gmail pa Gmail address and password. You know, something you're actually going to use. Um, but so the ROM that I'm running kind of takes a little bit, kind of a long time to load. Um, so if it doesn't, <clears throat> if it doesn't load here in the next couple of seconds, I'm just going to end the video. Um, but basically, that's all you do. That's how you do a factory reset on your phone. And it's kind of like, you know, starting out clean. It really does fix a lot of problems if you're having problems with your Android. And so anyway, hope you guys find that find that useful. Um, there, oh, there he goes. Bam. Okay, so this is, you know, you're starting out like, like it's brand new. So anyway, that's it. If you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to send send an email to, e to staff at practicallyandroid.com. Or just send, uh, or just go to practicallyandroid.com, and in the top right-hand corner of the screen, oops, on the top right-hand corner of the screen, there is actually a link that says Android Questions. You can just go ahead and send it there. But that's it. And remember, for more practical life, practicallyandroid.com. Take care, y'all.